So here's a fun piece of information about one of our really popular Australian birds, the willy wagtail. Everyone knows willy wagtails. In fact, willy wagtails occur in just about every part of Australia, from the centre of Sydney to Uluru, uh, to Kakadu, to Kangaroo Island. Willy wagtails are all over the country. A popular little bird, white underneath, black on the back with a long black tail, and they busy themselves around. And what they're doing, of course, is they're catching moths um, and small insects. And they, they dart from place to place, and they chatter a lot as they're doing it, catching moths. And if you walk through the bush sometimes, or in an open parkland, woolly wagtails will come up to you and they'll use you as a, as a sort of, a, 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 to thrush, thrush out the, um, the insects from the ground. They, they know that people moving about or other animals can often bring moths to the, um, to, to, into the air and they can actually catch them. And there's an interesting story about woolly wagtails and that activity. Um, I heard from an old Aboriginal woman who I knew who's a Pitnanjara woman. The Pitnanjara Aboriginal people come from the area around Uluru and down to Cooper Pedy and Alice Springs. And they had a story about woolly wagtails. Now, typically Aboriginal community people, when they moved through the bush, they would, they would camp in a place and they might be in two or three little groups. There might be some women in one group and some men in another and some kids in another. They wouldn't all necessarily sit together. And of course, if there were willy wagtails in the area, it meant that they had to be busy catching the moths that were around one group, and then moths would appear and, you know, 100 metres away around another group. And the willy wagtail would sort of dart backwards and forwards between the groups when they sat um, uh, having a meal. And in the tradition of uh, the Pitnanjara stories, the willy wagtail was known as the gossip bird. And it got that reputation because people thought the Aboriginal people thought that the bird was listening to the stories in one group and then going to another and then telling the story and then telling the story back to another and listening and exchanging stories between the various groups. So it was seen to be the bird that was telling the stories out of turn, the gossip bird. So the gossip bird is a common name for the willy wagtail in some communities in Central Australia. Um, and it's a nice idea, actually, that this, is, this bird has a connection with us. So I love to think of the willy wagtail as being the gossip bird of the Australian bush.